Okay, let us start. So, last class we spent on the new product development and the idea was we will have something which will take us into starting a new venture or setting up a new company. So, we are now moving as a, you are aware we started from the earliest sessions on innovation, creativity, opportunity. Now, we are coming closer to the stage where we are going to actually launch a new venture. So, you see that how does really a new venture comes about and that requires a new business proposition and therefore, we start always with the innovation that is what is really the new thing that we want to plan. The innovation has to match with the entrepreneur what we said in the beginning we require the act and the actor. The act is the act of innovation and the actor is the entrepreneur. So, basically to start a new venture we require certain resources, certain capacities, certain facilities and that is what are required by the entrepreneur to be organized. So, that he can create a new mean sense framework, he or she can create a new value equation and ultimately with all the objective and aim at creating new benefits or significant advantages for the customers. So, that is what really a new venture is going to result into, but that requires very proactive steps from the entrepreneur. And today that is what we want to start with in the first part of the session that we have been talking about all these things, but is there really some way that the entrepreneur can create a new value proposition. How does the entrepreneur create the new value proposition and as I mentioned we talked about the innovation, creativity, mean sense, new value equation, but how really we can come to a situation where we can really create this new value proposition. So, therefore, we have come with this creates as our basic approach in doing something which is not there today like we have been doing on your assignment and how can you change or create or do so that we are able to do something better superior which was not there earlier. So, therefore, what does create stand for? Any idea, any guesses? What would really result into something now different or better which is not there earlier? So, what does create really mean? It is a series of steps that one can take to do something which is not there today. So, C can mean combine. R can mean rearrange or reverse, E can mean either enlarge or enhance. So, if you have seen the first three, what do the next? What should A stand for? Yeah. Now, you got the idea, is not it? What we are trying to do? So, what could be the probable? actions coming from A. Sorry? Assemble. Okay. What else? Sorry? Assimilate. Okay. Good. What else? Sorry? Advance. Okay. Yeah. Possible. What else? It basically adapts or adopts and of course, lot of what you have said is part of that whether it assemble, assimilate or do that. What about T? What would T do? Transform, translate, what else? E, we got another E there now. What do we have there? Sorry? We are earlier E of enhancement or enlarging. So, the other E should do something different what that E could be? 
evolve no it's opposite of that actually eliminate can you remove something can you eliminate something totally from what is there today and finally s which is the substitute so we can think about where things are today how they are being done what are the main activities main components main elements and can you do any of these like combine that can you combine some things which are today offered separately or can you do something which requires multiple requirements in a single product service and can they be brought together instead of if there is a service which requires input from both the user and supplier can you do something where entire thing is done by user herself or himself so can you combine things which are not there today can combine steps you can combine ideas you can combine different objectives you can combine different components so it's up to you to find out what can be combined and what can be result into multiple uses or eliminate either processing step or costly step and can you improve from whatever it is today that is number one thing that's we call the combine the second is of course rearrange or reverse that is can you now instead of combining can you change the either pattern or the order or actually change the function completely and whether it can be either sequence can be the elements so the rearrange and reverse is another very important steps one can take we can actually say that if you want particular objective can you actually try to do the opposite of that or can you reverse the roles of people who are making or using this particular product or service can you change the orientation can you change the sequence of steps so all these are possible and we could see some examples on that eliminate can you remove something which is there today are making a problem or can you bring it down can you omit something can you subtract can you delete are there either in your algorithm or in your software something which can be taken out condensed streamline so these are the eliminate situations then the adapt that is what else it can be used for that today it is used for particular application can it be used for something else is there some sort of a analogy or parallel you can draw which could be useful where else you can apply it and people might be able to use that particular objective particular object or service into something else it might be used in particular industry can that be used into another industry or what you have got can it be used for something else like today you are finding lot of uses for laptop or mobile and you are using it for many other applications either through extensions or through changing the or adding certain components to those particular transform or modify can you really what you have got today can you change it by by change we mean either functionality or the objective or the service elements and would that give us something different something better enhance enlarge magnify lots of things are going to be much better if you are going to increase you can see that there are phones which are giving their big advantage what does nokia say my mobile phone has got 48 megapixel camera so they have really gone ahead and enlarged compared to 
what people are offering 5 to 10 MP against that, they are giving almost order of magnitude bigger offering. So, does that enlargement, does that enhancing, does it really give extra value? Can it really help people to go for it while others are not doing it? How can you use that? And finally, what you can substitute that is either the entire product or service or part of the element or part of the procedure which can be used for something else. So, these are some of the actual practical tools which people can use and many people have used that to essentially arrive at can you really improve what you are doing or can you create something which is not there. Aparna? I think we quickly have come from. We will have about 8 teams, so it is distributed to 8 groups. Yeah, so we have got. So each one of you, I think, as a small group or in a team, have got this one of these ideas that you can work on. So basically, it is a very simple thing. Yeah, I think let me just share with you what you need to do. On top of that sheet that you have been given, so right there, just pay attention first and then you can start working. On top of this page, write either any product or service which is of interest to you. Is that all right? So, on top of it, just write that any product service that you want and to that you apply the operation that is mentioned on the sheet that is either modify or eliminate or combine is that right. So, we have got basically 5 minutes right now. So, first write any product service that you think you want to take action on and then what you mentioned in that action either arrange, modify, combine, eliminate, substitute. So, make that operation on that for service and let us see at the end of 5 minutes what do you have. Okay? Yeah, quickly start now. Sorry, just write on that, just write what you want to do. No, no, whatever it is, it is just a short exercise as a team as you are here. So, you two or four of you write any product or service okay. and on that you operate this, okay. eliminate or enhance or whatever it is there and at the end of it, how it will be different or better because of your operation. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, everybody will get a different one. So, you think of any product service. Okay, I think let us stop. We just want to have an idea about what can happen. So, please stop everyone now. Okay, I think, yeah, please stop and let us start the exercise. So, the first was the combine, is that right? Who is the combine team? Yeah. So, what product did you select or service and what you are now offering? Yeah, please listen now everybody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Messenger and yeah. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please listen now. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So that's what it has done. So what are you offering them now? What they should do now? So you should also write what they have done, and also as I mentioned that what you think they should further do by way of combining things. So think about it. We'll come back. So each one of you, I expected that you would give examples of what something has been done successfully, and also what you would offer to them. If Facebook comes to you, what you will tell them to combine something more than what they have done? Okay, good, great job, very good. Yeah. So let's see, combine some example. Also, we'll see before going further. Can you see in the combine approach? What do we have here? We have got here a stainless steel tool, which is very small. It has got several functions which it can be, which can perform. It is very useful for people who are outside and have what to do, lots of small things. And they say that this is a very small pocket credit card size tool, which can give you lots of functionality. Any idea what is this? Sorry, Swiss knife. Yeah, that is one example. But Swiss knife is not a card size. It's something is a tool. We'll come to uh, Swiss knife, but you are close. But yeah, anyone else can guess what is this? In fact, we are given the name. It's called MT908, and this is what it is. It's just a small steel strip, but it has got all the functions, including the scale, including the cutting, including can opener. So you can see that. This one simple tool, and which is a flat strip, can work as can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, ruler, cap opener, wrench, butterfly. You can just name it, and they can do that. It can be put as a keychain hole. Either you can put into a keychain, or you can keep in your pocket. So that's an example of combine. I think good. You give the Swiss knife. We'll come to that. So you can see that when you combine, like we saw the MT108, we can have very simple example, very trivial example, like a pencil and eraser combined as a pencil eraser combined thing, or rightly as you say that we can have a Swiss knife, we can combine 10 or 20 functions, or we can example what is this on the left side? Yeah. The two-in-ones, which became very famous, that radio and the cassette player and the CD, you can combine. So you can see a lot of examples were there where people combine things. That is, they brought things, and a lot of functions could be organized into a single tool. They could be either functions which are related, or could be totally individual, independent functions. But you can bring them together. That's the combine. What is the next one? You can combine today, of course, the camera and mobile and all they are used many times. Second is the reversing. Who is the reversing group? Yeah, what you are proposing? Transport. Yeah, what is that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
But what are reverse? What are you reversing? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Rearranging. Okay. Not only reversing, but rearranging things. So they will provide more conducive environment for the transportation to operate, both for the vehicle itself and for the people who are organizing that. Okay. Good. Yeah. So let's say reversing here some example. Remember earlier the way people used to clean things. What they used to do? They used to use compressed air and used to remove the dirt and all from the either a certain area or certain furniture or certain vehicles. So what we have got now. Instead of using compressed air and blowing it on the particular areas or objects, what we are getting here now? A vacuum cleaner. What does vacuum cleaner do? It actually sucks the air and the dust. So earlier, instead of using compressed air to blow away things, what you are doing now? You are using now suction to pick up. All the dirt or the small particles which are there. So what we have done, we have reversed the role completely. That is, instead of using compressed air to blow off thing, you are using vacuum to suck and get the things cleaned up. So that is what we call it the use of reversal of the process. Rearrange. Anyone was in the rearrange area? We had that rearrange and this thing. Okay, let us see on the rearrange side here. Just even about a few years back, what used to have? You used to have the CPU, the keyboard, the monitor, and the screen. Now, increasingly, what you see most of the manufacturers, what they do? All-in-one setup like desktop doesn't have separate. CPU for that, all the disk drives for that, everything is put into the monitor itself has got all these objects so that you do not have to have separate things. So, they are completely rearranged the standard configuration or the elements of a PC into a single device. Eliminate, yeah. What did you have? What product you started and what you are eliminating? Mm. No, no, but what are, you, what are you eliminating from what is there today to make it improved or better? What is your idea? Yeah, yeah, explain to us what is the idea, what are you eliminating, what formalities? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How, how are you proposing to eliminate? No, you say internet or something, no? what do you say? Yes. So, what is internet going to do? It is going to remove something. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. Achha, we need to elaborate that further, maybe I need to understand it better. So, let us example of eliminate, what do we have here? You can see that. Did you see something eliminated in this? What has happened? The wires are completely gone. You have got everything now, either cordless or wireless or broadband. So, you can see that what they have done is the elimination of pure physical contact and you can get something which is going to be much better or much convenient than what it was earlier. What is the next one? Adapt. Who was the adapt team? Yeah. Who was in the adapt? Uh, uh, 
which has been brought out by a company called Eli Lilly, which is one of the biggest pharma company in the world. What has it done? It has adapted the pain to what they are in the market for. They are one of the biggest companies in treating diabetes, that is where people need to have injections for their treatment of diabetes and therefore, what they have done? They adapted the pain model to the dispenser of insulin which requires typically actually injection with a syringe and all. So, instead of that what they have done? They have come up with this fountain pen type of device where the administration of the insulin dose can be made, but it is not just that it is beyond that it also has got inbuilt knowledge in that, intelligence in that, which can actually track your prescription, which can tell you whether you have taken the dose or not. Many times you actually forget, isn't it? Many times you forget in hurry. So, they have completely created, adopted the and also people feel awkward that they have to take out the injection of syringe and then apply on their hands or instead of that, it will be very unnoticeable people can just use the pen and the point of this pen they can use as a dispenser. So, they can see that the way this company has done is make it very discreet, make it ensure that people follow it, they can track whether they are taking it or not and they can actually design that this is the dose that you require and every time you operate the pen you will get that required dose for you. So, it is an example of an adapt. Who is the next one modify and adapt? Which was the team for that modify? Yeah. Speaker changing colors, okay. Earphone wires, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Good. I think that sounds cool. Let's take example of modifying adapt here. You know that this is a old story, almost hundred year old story, where some Italian people came to USA, and they had expertise in basically water management, hydraulics, and irrigation. And when they arrived there. They one of the brothers had a son who was having problem with the body ache and he required constant treatment for it to be either massaged or to have hot water treatment for this. 
So, therefore, this brother actually designed and modified the existing water tub that people used to take bath in and they come with a design which actually give people water at different temperatures with different currents and different pressures and different flows and today it has become not only for your treatment also for your pleasure and enjoyment of your bath. Who are the brothers? Any idea? Their names are very famous now. Who are these Italian brothers who created this system? Today it is a fashion luxury item. The jacuzzis who actually created and adopted the conventional bathtub to a completely new experience that people can enjoy. Transform and simplify. Which group is doing that? Yeah, transform and simplify. Yeah. You, you had transform also. No, this is transform and simplify. We had got. Yeah, anyone simplification? Anyone did that? No. Why? What happened? Okay, let us take an example on transform and simplify things that we have got. I think today you know that today Sunday, today in USA, it happened yesterday in India. What did you have? Did you have something, some phenomena happening? Yeah? What is blood moon? Yeah, you heard that? Very good. Yeah, and and there is also lunar eclipse on that day. And what happens? You can see the situation. You can see that the light coming to the moon is diffused on the red side. No, there is no direct light coming on the moon. The shadow of Earth actually is falling on the moon to give the eclipse, and the moon looks like it's a red or they call it the blood moon. So, for people, general people, what is the way of knowing this sort of things? All the celestial phenomena and in fact, some culture have got, some cultures have lots of things which are linked to the movement of the stars and the planets, is that right? Yeah. So, how do you know those? There has to be some way to know, is that right? So, in India, what we have? What is this page? Can you know what this page is from? Yeah? Not astrology, this is actually, it is what we call the Panchang. Yeah, Panchang, what we call in most of the Indian languages. So, what do you do? If you want to know that, what time is the eclipse starting, what time it is going to be free, what time you are going to do that. So, they need to have all the information and they can find it from the Panchang. But what is the issue with the Panchang? Is there a problem with that? Yeah. To know about the Panchang, you need to study actually. You need to have actually a 50, 60 page handbook to understand how the Panchang is written and how we can really learn from that. So, is there someone who is trying to help people on this through transform and simplify as against this elaborate panchang, what are the options we can have? This is a company which has been set up for basically, they call it, what do they call it? Simplify transformation, what is on the left side is the Indian Almanac and what this company has come up with? They say we are got what is called a calendar that means a calendar which has got all the features of a Almanac or the Panchang. So, what it has done this company Kalnirane, they have completely simplified this process and people are Usually used to, yeah, 
people are used to looking at the calendars and the calendar has become now the vehicle for getting all the information which is required by the people. So, therefore, what they have done? They have completely transformed such an elaborate thing into a very simple thing which people can easily modify or can easily look at and learn from. So, this is what the transformation which has been done and therefore, what they call it Karl Nirnay Home Almanac which can give them very easy access to all the information. Though started they in the Marathi language, it is today published in almost all the languages of India and not only that, its sales are more than 15 crore. This sale, what could the price for this calendar in India? Normally, people want calendar for free, is that right? Do not buy calendar, usually have something diary or calendar free, but it sells for about 25 30 rupees and they sell in millions of these are sold and therefore, they are able to generate this huge revenue from the simplify and transformation. And more importantly, today they have gone beyond the physical or paper calendar, they have got the apps on the iOS and Android and it is now available for you on your mobile phone, all that is required for your and you can easily find out what you want. So, you can see that what was such a complicated thing has been converted into a very simple thing and the value that people are able to get can help them significantly. So, that was the transform and simplify. What is the next one? Enlarge and magnify. Who was having that? Enlarge and magnify. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how will you do that? What technology will apply? Okay, so that already is available. Peer to peer basic platform is available. So, how will you apply to what you are talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Primarily sort of books because books that's something that people want to Okay, okay. Good. So increasing the network and the people on the network. Okay. Okay, good. We can see something in large magnify, you can see that if you see just about twenty years back, the rackets were really what you call normal size, but today almost all the players play with what is called oversized racket. And why that has been possible? I think the last champion who played with a wooden racket was any idea? The last champion who played with wooden racket was Beyond Bog, who won 11 titles, Wimbledon and French Open. But after that, the entire train shifted to oversized racket. And why it was possible? Instead of wood, now what they use? The composites, the carbon composites that gave them option of creating bigger rackets. And the companies which came with this new technology and this oversize became the dominant innovators and they captured the whole market. These are the old TVs when we had the CRT TVs. Today what do you see in the TVs? Do you see this now? The CRT tube and this small TV. Today you are seeing massive TVs, LCD, LED, the ultra HD and the curvature ones. So, you can see that even normal size as against 
20 inches, which was the most common TV 30, 40 years back. Today, almost minimum size has become 30 plus at least, and size of even 50 inches, 60 inches is becoming very common. The last one, substitute. Who is the substitute group? Yeah. Sorry. Bicycle is a product. Yeah. What you are substituting? Battery for cycle instead of. Okay. Sorry. Foldable cycle. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. But given the compactness and can be easily carried wherever you want to go. Okay. Good. So that's substitute. Very good. What do you have here? Substitute example. Can you see that? What do you have here? The new salt that is low sodium salt that is substituting regular salt with the low sodium salt or substituting regular sugar with the non sugar sugar which is the sweetener that we have got without the sugar problem or we can substitute regular batteries with the rechargeable batteries that means you can eliminate buying and disposing batteries frequently or we can substitute printed books by Kindle or e-readers which can use. So, you can see that by substituting we can create a very different value and depending on the type of work that you are doing the beneficiaries could be either a small number or a big number or the value could be improvement or enormous change. So, keep in mind your creates as one possibility that what you are doing can you do something which can change because of your approach and create the better value. Now, since all of you are doing your assignment that uh, I think we have received the first four slides which was the deadline for that last week and now you have to complete your entire assignment. So, you have to select out of those one idea and that idea you have to take through the framework of you saw that the means and framework and the new value equation. So, you can apply one or more of this creates technique in actually creating the better value. So, that will be useful for your assignment that you are going to that is why we are actually taken it now after you started on the assignment. So, basically what does the entrepreneur is really doing is that you are trying to do something which is going to be which is not there like what you are saying I want this, but it is not there and for that either you get new ideas, new technologies, new resources or operate them in a different way and create the better value and for that you anticipate the needs that the customer has and many times the customer may not be able to clearly articulate those needs, but it is your job to anticipate them even before the consumer can really tell you in so many words. If you can do that, there is a good chance that you are able to offer something which is not there today, but has value and if offered would have acceptance or a good demand for what you are planning. So, therefore, that is what we are now coming to with all these activities and steps taken, you are coming to this stage of creating your new enterprise based on your ideas and that really is a process which we need to go through and the process I got several steps. The first step in the process is the searching task that is you must search something, you must discover something and what is that? What is the best idea that you can start your business with and for that idea what are the market potential, what are the 
requirements of people which are not there today that is the first task in a new venture creation is the searching task that is the ideas and the untapped demand which is there the second is the planning task how to plan for this new enterprise and assess the feasibility so that's what you are doing right now you are planning you have gone through the first task and the second task we are working on then the marshaling task that is going to be the tough one that is idea is good there is a requirement there is it's possible to do that but to now go from this step to the actual venture creation we require resources which we need to organize the resources can be physical financial technological and that is the big job that we need to do and for that you need to not only have something good you need to convince your prospective supporters to help you in that and that is what we call the marshaling task then the final one is the implementing that is not only you are able to think about it you are able to get some support but actually you have to execute and start making certain products or services which will be available so start the business but what you are always looking for is the rapid growth for your business that is the last thing managing the rapid growth so the entire idea of setting up a new venture has to go through this process and this task that we are talking about that is right from the earliest task of searching planning marshaling and executing or implementing your plan so that is if you really are able to go through this in a proper systematic way and not only do that but get the results then there is a good chance that you can actually create a successful new venture so in doing this we really are going to go further and do analysis for the feasibility of this idea or the plan we are talking about so when you start a new idea you start a new venture and you want to understand what it is what is the situation what is the environment what is the situation when you start on something new especially it has not been tried before and like you said i want it but not available so at that stage what is the situation we have to do this analysis yeah what is situation what are the resources that you require and what is the timing that we need to understand so basically when you talk about this the situation is very uncertain you really you cannot know what's going to be the acceptance or not the resources that you have got with you are extremely limited they are just the bare minimum or just at the idea stage and how long will it take to do that anybody's guess because what you want to organize you don't know the sources you have to start from scratch you can't be sure how long it will be really taking to complete that so at the stage at which you are starting your venture these are the issues it's a very uncertain situation resources are not there and you may not be able to really predict your timeline on how things will move so therefore it's important that we do this analysis for the feasibility of this and the basic purpose of doing this analysis is to really ascertain is it worthwhile going ahead or not shall we really proceed with the idea does it really have merit and at least you'd able to do some initial preliminary evaluation so that not everything is completely in imagination or completely guess work but there is some sense which will tell us that yes it is possible to take up something and go ahead and therefore we need to do it as early as possible after we have done the basic 
process that idea is good we are going to work on it we might do a poc a proof of concept and therefore at that stage it is better that we quickly do this feasibility study and it has got four important elements in this analysis which we need to undertake that's what we are going to work on so the first is the product serviceability that's what we had going through in the last session the new product development so is the product or service we are going to plan is it worthwhile is it feasible second thing the industry in which you are going to launch the product and the service you are going to plan third is that are you ready to have enough people enough resources organization to start the venture and finally most importantly does it make financial sense because people are going to help you with their resources and capital and what is going to happen at the end of your trial runs and you are launching in market are they going to get the returns or it is going to be disaster for them so therefore the most important thing that we start with as we have been looking at the new product development is the basic feasibility of the new product or service that we are planning so is that really worthwhile to launch this product and it is better that before you start substantial investment into this development can you get some idea about the product or service which is going to be important and those two things are the concept testing and the usability testing that is what really is the basic idea behind this product is it worthwhile does it have what we described earlier all the elements and if it is launched if it is put into practice like the the wires with the color showing or the facebook improvements how will be used by people and would they find it worthwhile so the basic idea of this product service or the concept and the usability are the most critical part that we need to study so for that you can use a simple matrix a good tool and the idea is that we need to validate the assumptions or the notions with which we are starting this idea of the product or service and what are really the how do assumptions stand in the current situation or the improvement so therefore we can show it to a prospective customer you can do some beta testing you can get their feedback their response and based on that we could change or improve that or we can find out what is the market share today people who are in this particular segment or particular profile would they be requiring this particular product or service so therefore the basic idea is to ask these questions that who is the market segment the profile of the target audience how that audience is going to be decided that is what really distinguishes them it can be age it can be location it can be qualifications it can be cultural thing so all those things are possible which we can try to do and then ask that what really is the product service going to give them what value is going to give them how it is different than what they are having today where is the improvement and therefore would they be willing to buy it and pay for it so therefore i think what you are doing today in your assignment is to really try to the idea that you want to select now out of the 8 or 10 ideas you have come up with as a team the one idea that idea you have to do and write a winning concept that this is what our best idea is and what is a winning concept very important to understand that it must have some insight it must come out after all three or four of you discussed you had studied and you have come up with a clearly something which is required like we said i want it but not available that this is something really required and this is the insight that you have got into this development 
the second is the point of difference that is how it is different than the currently or conventionally available product services and what is going to be benefit. The next is that there should be people should believe in that product service and for that there should be some established truth or some assumptions which are tested and found to be true that is what we need to give. Finally, it must have rational benefit that means people should be able to clearly see the benefit that is there like we saw this Eli Lilly's what did Eli Lilly do we saw just now what did it do adapted the diabetes insulin injection into a pain did it give what is the rational benefit did it really solve problem yeah it did solve problem but beyond that it also gave them emotional benefit that means the awkwardness or embarrassment that they used to have in using in public a syringe which might give people different ideas about what they are doing they could actually use a very innocuous looking thing to do that. So, not only rational benefit, but also emotional benefit is what they got because of this concept or the product. So, we will take this example of this and look at a concept that people came up with that is selling water. We are all seen that in the last few years starting in India with the and what are the international brands for mineral water or packaged water you have been seeing yeah sorry kinley what else aquafina what about so you can see that in the last 30 40 years for the first time people started selling water till that time water was not really a commodity for selling but selling water is something which started in the last 30 40 years and why that's happening why people buy water what is the need yeah the need is there what need is that we are talking about health concern health issues yeah what else So, water available locally through the tap water is may not be potable that is there and how much does it cost per liter anything from 20 to 100 or 200 depending on what brand you are buying per liter is what you have to pay is that right. So, that is happening and the customers for this are they all same people or different people go for this. Is it a big segment, small segment? Is it uh, episodic? That means it is bought and uh, when you are on travel or something, or it is bought regularly. Do people buy everyday bottles at their home, or they buy when they are out on a tour or visit or something? So that's what we have been seeing that there has been a change. People have got concerns about health and other things, especially people who are going into other countries. But is there a prospect for selling water which may not be at this high price, but for even daily consumption is that required do people go for actually doing something that even daily water we should buy. So, here we will let us take an example where somebody felt that the insight that person got when he saw that both his sons fell ill and suffered from jaundice. So, he thought that now it is time I need to look at the water that I am drinking every day or my family is drinking every day and can I do something for this. So, there must be a point of difference that the water you are getting either from the tap or from the supply and what the water you are going to make now available to customers. 
and why should this company believe that water has got a potential to be bought there because the health is a top priority people now feel that i must pay enough attention for my health and water is one of the major problem so therefore i must have safe drinking water is what is required that's the rational benefit but what is the emotional benefit we saw the benefit for the huma pain rational was of course that you are getting your insulin dose regularly but also that you avoided the embarrassment or awkwardness of doing it in public so what is the emotional benefit here in buying water if you are a parent you would feel that i hope i will not suffer now the situation of my children having this type of water borne diseases so that is what this person thought and who is the person who came with this selling water proposal yeah you can see him what is the company mr mahesh gupta iit kanpur alumni he was working in engineering company for many years had no intention of starting a entrepreneurial venture but when his children had this problem he said that can i do something and launch this kent ro as the source of water for daily use that is every day you are now using pure water which is gone through the process of reverse osmosis and ultraviolet and therefore it doesn't have any and what price he is selling this 15000 rupees per ro purifier that he is selling to the public are people buying it so whatever people are buying it there has to be only certain segment niche segment who are buying it but that segment is big enough to give him turnover of more than 500 crores per year in selling this so you can see that and what made it work what made mahesh gupta to go for this and it worked because 20 years back there are hardly any purifiers which prefer to the there were some filters what you had actually were filters with this candles or with this ceramic filters but he was the first one to treat with the ultraviolet and also use the membranes where they removed this thing and therefore not only created the purifier he created a brand with an actor and had got the best certification from the international and local agencies and he is now even going beyond that and trying to go into environment where he will minimize the damage to environment in terms of the recycling of the water so the company is growing 30% we what is the one part we said that this venture must grow rapidly and in the last 10 years from less than 50 crores it has grown now more than 10 times and actually he is thinking of going to more than 1000 crores he got a market share which is almost one third of the total market share so you can see that what this company really came up with or mahesh gupta came up with that to give the people pure water and more importantly the feeling that their health and the family health would be now taken care of and not only stopped at the water level what is going beyond now he is saying that i will also purify the water we drink the food we eat so he has come up with a new food wash equipment with ozone which will completely because when you buy food from bazaar or markets it has got all these outside germs and others he also come with air we breathe so you can see that the food the air the water everything is attacking so that the family can feel that they are now safe so he is really mission that he has come up with is that i would give the companies the families good health and more important than that i will also give them the peace of mind that is what would be really helping them 
So, I think we will stop here today, we just saw one example of how it can be done, what is possible and then we will on Thursday we will take the next thing on how to convert opportunity into an enterprise. So, you can see that Mahesh Gupta converted the need, the problems people had into a complete new enterprise based on new technology which was not used and created a product which was actually very high end and still found enough people for him to grow year on year and almost doubling the turnover every 5 years. Okay, let us stop here. Thank you.